platoon. We've lost the square. We can't hold it. Welcome to another Starfield video. So, as the little uh, intro uh, may have may have told you, today we're going to be looking at a custom build of a, a vehicle I made. So, this is the Thunderhawk uh, from Warhammer 40k. A little bit of backstory. So, Warhammer 40k. If you uh, are not watching, I'm assuming you're familiar. Most people are familiar with it. Really cool. I think it's originally started off as a tabletop game. You got the figures. It's kind of the meme is they're like basically it's super expensive piece of plastic, but really really cool. It's got vast lore and story. Probably want to say probably one of the most expansive science fiction like franchise out there. But anyway, the uh, the Thunderhawk is or the thun the, the sorry I'm, my uh, my Irishness comes out. It's it's hard to say th is like not duh. Um, so the Thunderhawk is basically a it's an, a dropship slash gunship used by the uh, the Astartes, which is the uh, Space Marines, and it's a pretty formidable vehicle, pretty formidable vessel. It's quite iconic. You see it uh, in use. One of the more recent trailers you see in the trailer for Space Marine Two, you see it fly overhead and uh, deploy Space Marines, and it's it's a pretty cool vehicle. It has that, the thing with Warhammer is it's very kind of like retro-y slash like, it's, it's like kind of like how Fallout is like 50s era mixed with kind of uh, fusion punk or nu nuclear punk I think it's called. Warhammer is like World War I infused with sci-fi and you can kind of see that in the weaponry and the kind of the aesthetics. But yeah, so this was, it was kind of tricky to build. Initially, I was uh, talking on the Discord about, like, you know, trying to do it. And then I was like, you know what, I'll just give it a go. And I think I did a decent job. Had to use some merge techniques. Obviously, the wings are not, like, you know, on the actual Thunderhawk. The wings are, like, downwards at an angle. But for the most part, I think I did a decent job. Now, there is some merging in this to kind of make it all, you know, nice. It has a functional interior and stuff. Um... But for the most part, yeah, that, that whole, like, top section you can see up there with the docking port just underneath that. That's where all of the engines and stuff are, the, all the uh, reactors and stuff are. So if you take a look at the stats of the vessel, it's got a fuel of 610. Um, that's just purely because I have, see, I have fuel hidden in the front. That's just, again, a lot of these are going to be purely aesthetic. It's not really, I mean, it, it can function, and it, it's probably one of my more function, functional designs. It's got a hull of 1317, which isn't too bad for a C-Class. Cargo capacity of 200. It doesn't carry a lot of cargo. Now, you could put cargo on it, but, like, realistically, these are meant to be dropships. It's got a C-Class reactor of 38 power. Uh, the reason I went with the reactor was because I went with the Fuso reactor because it, it's the most hideable. It's, like, pretty square or cube. It's got a crew of 6, jump range of 23 light years. It's got 600 for, uh, shield. It's got three sets of weapons. We've got ballistics, uh, ballistics, and missiles. So in the Warhammer universe, uh, these things are usually armed with... Uh, there's a couple of armaments. So at the top there, we've got two railgun cannons. And these are supposed to signify the main kind of armament of this ship is these big kind of cannon, basically. It's almost like a tank cannon. And then on the wings, we have missile pods. Now, realistically, again... This thing would use quite a few missiles. It would have like its entire wing would be just missiles. And then at the front there, you'll see we have two turreted ballistics. These are meant to be the heavy bolters, the twin linked heavy bolters uh, that would be used to protect the uh, the crew as they're, or the space marines as they're disembarking. But realistically, they, they the ship, these ships, they can land and they do land, but in the lore or in the kind of anytime you see them in action generally the space marines jump out of them which makes sense because space marines can they can fall quite a deep far distance without hurting themselves it just makes sense you know like ships like in the warhammer universe everything is so overpowered that if this thing was to land and it like you know hit um got hit badly it would end uh, horribly for everyone there's actually a reference to this in um 
one of the animated uh, series you can see on the Warhammer. Uh, you have to be like a member of Warhammer. I think it's like Warhammer Plus. A really cool uh, series that follows a, um, a member of the uh, Salamanders, which are my favorite space marine. But like his entire squad of space marines dies because their ship gets uh, shot down and he's the only survivor. And it's, it's a very, very cool kind of thing. But anyway, so yeah, so if you want to make this, uh, it's going to cost you around probably 400k. So yeah, so let's let's go ahead and take a look at it, shall we? So as we can see there, I went with... Uh, ignore the bodies. Uh, originally, I went with a kind of a green to kind of... Because these, these ships, generally, the, the color is dependent on the faction or the, the chapter. And I, I did go with green uh, because the salamanders, but then I realized like the blue is kind of, I'd say blue and red are the most well known with blue probably being the most known. I feel like ultramarines are the most known faction. So yeah, let's let's kind of take a look around the sides here. So obviously there's the front. You've got these. These are supposed to be the bolters. Bolters in Warhammer, basically they fire, um, it's like kind of a, a miniature missile or rocket. It's very, very hard hitting. And then we've got our missile pods. Like I said, realistically, this thing would be filled with various different missiles. We've got our engines at the back there. And I, I tried to kind of get the engines because the thing is with these is so the wings slant downward, like at an angle. They kind of go down like that. But obviously, we can't do that currently. So instead, I opted to kind of have them flat. And then I kind of put the engines in the wings and then put these little, like, kind of these pieces here. And then we've got the big cannon here at the front which uh it's just two rail guns the kind of the idea behind it and then we've got our little winglets here but these are just used to kind of as kind of a, almost like a maybe like a, a, a stabilizing wing potentially anyway so in we go so we have the the nice little kind of the thing i like i'm using a mod so that i can open and close the ramp so i think it's kind of cool if i can press the button and open and close there we go that's pretty cool mod. Hopefully Xbox gets that at some point. Anyway, in we go to the Thunderhawk. We've been reading a lot of Warhammer lately, and I've been trying to, like, do more kind of Warhammer-inspired builds, but they're kind of tricky because a lot of Warhammer ships are very angular and winged. So we just have a little one-by-one one, uh, down here, and then we have an armory because, you know, your Space Marines are going to need their armories to get everything if i'm moving faster than i should be moving yeah i'm moving faster just because i downloaded a mod to try and make am i, am I really tall no i downloaded a mod to try and make myself super tall because i was trying to like emulate a space marine but it didn't work and now i just move really fast and i'm really confused anyway so we've got our bridge or our cockpit there which we'll check in a second if we come back here oh god i am moving really fast the old control station here just for you know extra crew compartments and if we go up here this is where things start to get a little bit finicky as you can see we come up here this is where everything is merged inside now as you can see with these merges there's a docking port as you can see with these merges it's all completely functional you can kind of walk through it and stuff which is yeah some people might not like that but it's completely separated you don't need to go up there at all i mean if you're docking you do but you don't need to Anyway, we're going to take her into space and see how she performs. Oh, so there's... What is that? Oh, yeah. There's a strut piece here again. This is the thing, again, it's... Uh, this build was mainly from an aesthetic point of view, but it is functional. But yeah, you just have to... Just, just ignore that. Just ignore that. Yeah, that's a structural piece using to use to hold the two... Um, show you real quick we go inside. that basically holds the little, the little chin things in place the um the wings anyway off we go into space as always i have a perk that increases my power by five so for the sake of the review we're only going to be using five power i don't want to toot my own horn because obviously like um i recently was doing uh preparing for the ship builder uh, the ship community ship competition uh that'll if this video this video should go live on thursday that will be saturday i was building some ships and uh i know i'm pretty decent with merges but by jesus some people are just next level with what they can do with their ships but anyway yeah so weapon wise we've got our 
primary cannon there. We've got our missiles. Oh god, don't hit that per oh no. Okay, we're good. And then we've got the turreted uh, ballistics. We can't fire them. So base speed is going to be 130 because we're using the big C-class engines. Boost speed's probably going to be, what, 400? My cap at 5, 450. Not too bad. Agility test, it's it's quite agile. It's not the most agile thing. It's always found weird is like in third person, you like it. the ship moves faster in third person than it does in first person, which I don't know why that is. It always should be a thing of Fallout 4. And then there again. All right, so we're going to head down to the planet and I will show you how to build this vessel. All right, so we've got the ship split into four sections, as you can see here. So the top section, all we really have is our uh, 110 DP docker top from Deimos. We have our Deimos tail A. We have our Nova weapon mount from Nova Galactic. And then we have two MK9, MKE-9A auto gauss guns from Ballistic Solution Incorporate. C-Class, 1625 range, four fire rate, 37 hull damage, and four power. Middle of the vessel, we've got our DS 10.1 Phobos cockpit from Deimos, two cargo, two, or 200 cargo, two crew. We have a Deimos Spine B. We have a Deimos Cowling 4. We've got two Deimos bumpers on this side, two Deimos bumpers on this side. We have our Deimos All-in-One Berth, and then we've got another tail. Now, we, these pieces are all going to merge into one another. So we've got a, a Fuser DC-403 reactor from Deep Core, C-Class 38 power, uh, 1190 hull. We also have an SGD-2300 grav drive from Slane Aerospace, B-Class 10 power, 30 jump thrust, 23 light years. And then we have a 500T Helium-3 tank from Ballistic Solutions Incorporated, 210. So what I like to do is we're going to basically be merging these down, which I'll show you the full kind of step in a minute, just to kind of, but the, the, the kind of the, the, the simplest solution I'll show you. Right now. So you basically want to have, I, I did a video of this. I think I uploaded yesterday for this video. So you've got your little companion way, which is going to be used to force objects down. And then we're just going to highlight that piece and highlight it and it'll drop down. You see now it's inside this, delete that. And then one more time, you're just going to highlight the bottom one and it'll, it'll go up sometimes. That's fine. Highlight again and it'll go down and that's down. Now you're going to delete these. And then now you're going to highlight the reactor and you're going to drop the reactor down. So the reactor goes down one half like so. And then what you would do is to kind of to hide it fully, you're going to put the docker on top of it. So what you want to do is you want to make a guide for it to go down. So you're going to put two of these here and then you're just going to highlight it and then highlight the bottom of your scaffold. And just like that, it'll go down like so. And now this is your like, this is your section here. And obviously you can, you can attach these if need be. This piece will slip. Let me show you. This piece slots there, and then this jumps up like that, and then that's that that piece there. Middle of the vessel, we have a Nova Bracer connected to two Nova Wings, port and starboard. And then we also have some Horizon weapon mounts merged inside here. And then we've got two Mauler 106 autocannon turrets from uh, Horizon Defense, B-Class 1300 range, 5 fire rate, 17 hull damage, and 4 power. So in order to get these all kind of on top of one another, I'm going to show you what you do. So all you want to do is you so you want to you want to attach your Nova Bracer here. You want to put another Nova Bracer up on top like so. And then you want to get your two wings, your two wings on the top one like that. Now you want to put your Horizon weapon mounts there and there. And then you want to mount the cannons to the bottom of the Horizon weapon mounts. Because generally they, um, the bolters kind of sit down like that. Now we're going to get some of our scaffold. We're just going to grab one of these and bring it over here. And then you're just going to highlight it, highlight the wings, and then the wings will drop down like so. Now you delete that. For the rest of this, we've got an armory, 2x1 Deimos armory. We've got a Deimos control station, 2x1. And then we've got an assurance SG-18 shield generator, sexton shield system, C-class, 12 power, 1600 sh um, shield. We also have two more Nova wings here. Now, really quickly, I'm going to show you. So the um, the cockpit snaps in there, but obviously we're going to have to expand it. So we're going to duplicate up 
I'm gonna move this wing or this uh, real quick. Just gonna put this like so. Put the cockpit in there. It's gonna need to put one more. So the cockpit is like that. Now you press Y to duplicate it down once. If you try to duplicate it again, it won't work. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna highlight it. Gonna go to our trusty scaffold and just like that, we drop it down and now that is all ready to go. Now the, the next part of this is, is our kind of winglet. So this is a pretty straightforward kind of method to do. So all we wanna do is, so we have, I'll show you real quick. So we start off with, whoops, give me them. So what you want to start off with, no, can't give me these. You're going to make use of these. Now there's two ways you can go about this, using either the Stroud engine bracers or the Deimos engine bracers. I'm using the Stroud ones just because I like the extra texture it gives. So what you do is you would extend them like that, all them, so you've got four of them. We'll move this for the minute. And then what you're going to do is you're going to extend uh, a demos any sort of two by one up like that like that goes straight across you're going to remove the middle section and then all you're going to do is you're going to attach two demos wing b's well four all together so you're going to have two each side like so so they're going to be sitting like that then you're going to get your little scaffold we're going to move this a little closer highlight the bottom one highlight all four of them and then drop them down with duplicate and there they're in position now we're going to really quickly do the last set. So again, we're going to basically do this, but we're going to maneuver them. And the reason we're kind of, we're leaving this gap in the middle so we can, we have a snap point and we can drop them down. And then once again, we're just going to drop them down like so. Bob is your auntie. Now next, what we're going to do is we've got our little fuel tanks here. Now we've got four of these fuel tanks, two on each side of the wings. These M30 Ulysses Helium-3 tanks, 100 each. We're gonna also drop these down. And just like that, perfect, they drop down. And you can't really see them, but they're there. And then finally, to cap this piece off, we're gonna use a Deimos Wing A port. And then we're gonna one the other side. And then we've got two Suki Sasu 40K missile launchers from Shinangami, C-Class 5225 engine, or range, sorry. One fire rate, 86.09 hull and shield damage and four power. And there's one on each side. Now the the last piece really you're going to want to do is you want to have your winglets here. And we're going to merge these two engines in like so. Now you'll see there they don't want to fit. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make a snap point for them. Is this high enough? Nope, we need to go one more. So what I'm basically doing is I'm just duplicating this armory up three times or two more times and I'm duplicating this wing up three times. And then you're gonna snap the wing to it and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're just gonna get our little winglets. Up. And then the wings, it'll snap the wings and now you're just gonna highlight them. And like before, we're just gonna drop them down. They've dropped down once. And then we're gonna highlight them again. They're going to drop down one more time. Now they've dropped down. Now you can move all this. And you just leave the one variant in there like so. Now, um, for the... I'm going to kind of put the vessel together as we go. So we're going to move all of this stuff here. And this snaps like so. Now, what is it? Okay, the, these side pieces are a bit finicky. That's perfectly fine. I'm just going to remove these side pieces. Gonna snap in. There we go. Perfect. So that snaps in nice and easy. And then you'll see on the bottom here, we've got a Deimos Skeg A. This just sits directly underneath. These pieces, you're going to slot them in. It's a simple. Just flip them, flip them back. And flip them, flip them back like so. And then same on the other side. Now the thing is, uh, with this with this ship uh, model, this 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 uh, all-in-one berth here, because it's not really functional. Uh, what you could do if you want to keep, we'll, we'll show you in a second, actually. So now for the final pieces, what we have here is we have a Deimos companion weight one by one, a shiphead landing bay two hundred from Tayo, 
we have a Deimos belly aft here, and then we have four 320 CB landing gear from Deimos, and then we have a Deimos skeg A. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach the, the docker sits directly under there, like so. And then you're going to have to flip, or not the docker, sorry, the uh, companionway is there, you're going to have to flip the docker, or flip the landing bay. And then you're going to attach these pieces are going to sit a bit tricky to see where they are. Oh, I'm gonna have to, whoops. So this moves that moves to there. You do a quick little flip. And then there's two. Now there, we're gonna need two more. So what you can do is just to I only realized this after watching a, a video. Because when I do my merging. I normally kind of do the drop down, but what you can do instead is just press Y to duplicate it, then let go of it. So there should be two there. No, no. press Y. And then accept. So now there's two there. You see there's one inside. Now if you highlight the entire ship and grab it, and then let go of it, and it snaps that one into place. So it's, again, all you do is you press duplicate, let go of it you'll see there there's two inside one side the other now highlight the whole ship press a and then just like that it'll basic basically what it's doing is it's it's grabbing the entire ship and then when you pick up the ship it will move the entire ship so that it snaps to that extra piece which is pretty handy then finally we have this piece in here this belly aft just sits there like so now that's that's pretty much it now i will say if you're trying to make this more functional, like you want to make it functional, you don't want to have all this like stuff up here. What you can do is, instead of having this all-in-one berth here, you can delete the all-in-one berth. And you can, let me show you real quick. We're going to make use of the Deimos holes. And you can instead put some Deimos holes in here, like so. Let me show you. And we're gonna have to move some whoops, we're gonna have to move these pieces very briefly. So we put that there. And then put that there, and there. So we're just basically gonna all we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate these down. Down like that. And then highlight. We're just basically forcing these pieces down. Whoops. There you go. Just like that, now we can we can also, we're gonna really quickly color these in our blue. Now, and then you can put your little turret back like so. And then it's gonna be like, oh, you need you need a docker. Where, where's the docker? What is the other error? Ship's missing a docker. What's unattached? Oh, the wings are unattached. Wait, what? Oh, they're not. Oh, they, sorry, well. So it's gonna be like, oh, you need a docker. So we're just gonna basically slap the docker on the bottom here. And it should function just fine. Yep, yeah, there you go. So that's, like I said, that's if you want to, uh, if you want to use these to hide them. But when it comes to me, I don't really mind because one of the things you'll notice when you use these is these pieces, I'll just show you real quick. These pieces are not as wide as a, as a, like a two by one hab so because of that you get this sort of you know like it just doesn't look as even now obviously that's that's it's such a minor thing you you may not have an issue with that but yeah that's pretty much it anyway guys uh as always thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if you like this sort of content and check out some of my other videos Bye bye